Every now and then we elect to push a few little enhancements out the door in a maintenance release of the software. This is the case with AGI 32 version 14.6 where we've added features that will help you with unruly coordinates in 2D CAD imports. Have you ever imported a DWG file, like this one here, only to see nothing? This usually means the file has some entities scattered off in deep space that are stretching out the extents of the view. Notice the large coordinate values down here. We're out in the millions. Let's try to zoom extents. Thinking about it, if you have AGI 32 Hint system enabled, you would see this message. Warning, one or more entities in this environment are beyond the allowable extents of the program. Consequently, the extents have been truncated to prevent errors. Recommendation, use the Tools Resolve Extents command to disable or delete entities beyond allowable extents. Well, this is a new command. The new Resolve Extents command from the Tools menu has options that can help you locate the rogue entities so you can disable or remove them. Let's try the response selected for us. Yes, the command is somewhat intelligent. Disable entities beyond allowable extents. This is roughly 99 million units, feet or meters. Let's click OK and try it out. It's thinking. Well, it doesn't look like it helped a whole lot. But the hint has changed. Warning, entities in this environment exceed the allowable extents of the program and consequently entities may not be visible or may appear as dots. Recommendation, use tools resolve extents, locate entities, and move, disable, or delete. Well, this drawing's messed up, so let's try it again. Tools, resolve extents. Now we see the selection has changed. However, the origin is sort of in the upper right corner, and so we know that the missing entities, or the rogue entities, are down here in the lower left. So let's try the object entities close to minimum extents. Thinking about this. Well, it's found something. Let's zoom out a little bit. More more. It's a little difficult to see. Let's change AGI 32's background color. That helps a little bit. Well, we could keep zooming. Or, let's go back up to the Tools Resolve Extents command, and let's just broaden the window a little bit the locator extents was just 100 units. Let's take it out to 5,000. Thinking about it again. Ah, there we have it. Let's take a look at this stuff. It's all just text and dots. These are generally not relevant to our lighting mission, so we can just go ahead and delete them. Now let's zoom extents again. And bingo, there's our cat background. We've also added a new command to reset a translated origin. We've been able to translate the origin for a long time now in AGI 32, and all coordinates are automatically translated back to the original origin if exported to CAD. However, we've never been able to reset the origin to the original location while working. Check it out. Let's translate the origin. Let's put it there. Let's do it one more time. Put it over here. Now let's reset using the new command from the Tools menu. Tools. Reset Translated Origin. It doesn't just move it back one step. It actually moves it all the way back to the original location. This could be very helpful if you need to bring in a new or additional CAD background after you've already been working. One more new feature. Similar to the lost entities demonstrated in Plan View, where we used the Resolve Extents command, have you ever tried to go to Elevation View in an imported 2D drawing and once again see nothing? Curses. Since this is two dimensional background content, we can simply flatten all entities to z equals zero using the new Flatten Drawing Entities command. Tools flatten drawing entities. And now everything is at z equals zero. This same process can be done during the CAD import if you're thinking ahead. 
but now it can be done at any time. So there are a few new tools in AGI 32 version 14.6. Go forth and tame the rogue entities.